Friday, December the 20th, 2019, I posted a poem called 2944, and also called Don't Look Down Now. The map of this necktie was of the slowest, most scenic, almost circuitous route to hell, with the arc of the sticks rising like a blue rainbow slightly above the angular tip at the bottom of the necktie where the entrance to the wailing and the gnashing, presumably, just above the dagger point, generally downward at all times, except that he had tied it too long to make the joke work, which to me made him immediately an enticing the jerk. So hell was the blank space between his thighs, halfway down to his knees, uh, from his pelvis, covering the possibility of sex, a prude in hell, which, come to think of it, seems the only brand of human that would consider the conceptual boiling pot of supposed eternal misery uncomfortable in the least. I imagined that the squeaky-shoed man in the funeral at Tyre, as he arrived, had his first day on the job, so, of course, it, it's, of course, there was the obvious ogling that followed him naturally where he clumsily and aimlessly shuffled fits and starts in that panicky, lost puppy dog sort of way. Until some party pooper showed him to his desk in an inappropriately gentlemanlike manner. All I could think for the next few weeks, yet only once or twice even passing him in the hallways of the glib mundanity that was the firm in which decade or so, was the fantasy of running into him someday down there, in that blank space between the middle of his thigh, had a tantalizing way of being driven to crazy wailing in the depths of torment that would be. A tantalizing way of being driven to crazy wailing in What a tantalizing way of being driven to crazy wailing in the depths of torment that would be. I'm the WH of the what.